or not? Usually they open their eyes wider when they get here. <laughs> well, friends, we are live. We are live on Twitch. And um, we are about to be, oh, wait, it's actually 11 a.m. I can't believe it. Oh, wow. Kathy, for you, uh, welcome. It's good to have you here with us. If you'd like, you can check the um, Zoom link. The Zoom chat room, rather, there's a copy of the liturgy for anyone who needs it. And for our oh. friends joining us on Twitch, welcome. And those of you watching on YouTube, welcome. We are so grateful you're here with us. We do want to give you a quick heads up that, um, <clears throat> that we enjoy playing together. And because Zoom echoes things around, it tends to get cacophonous. So... That's, we just think of it as sort of a Pentecostal cacophony of praise. Now, if you are joining us, you might not realize today's a very special day for us. It's the first Sunday of Advent. It is the 16th anniversary of our parish. And as a special joy, we are celebrating the 55th wedding anniversary of Lori and Jill Harrington, which is why they are wearing their original wedding clothes. We, instead of our shared homily today, we will be um, witnessing and celebrating their renewal of vows and, and Sister Laurel's renewal of vows. So uh, Kate will be in charge of that. What else did I need to tell everyone ahead of time? I think that's it. The only other difference between the normal liturgy is that, again, because it's an unusual day, there will be no Greek for the week. We'll be back next week. Because it's the first Sunday of Advent, I invite us all just to take a deep breath together. This is a happy, joyful day. Let's take that breath. Because Jesus is Emmanuel, God with us. And how, how fortunate we are. So another one together. O oh God, on this, the first Sunday of Advent, grant your faithful, we pray, the resolve to run forth to meet your Christ with righteous deeds at his coming, so that gathered at his right hand, they may be worthy to possess the heavenly reign of God. In this we pray, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. All right. Welcome, Warren Melissa. So there is. Kick us off. Hey, Gary. Hi, Warren. Blessed are you, O oh God, creator of the universe. At your word, energy goes forth into existence, into existence and comes to us, to us as light. light. You create day and night. You roll away light before the darkness. And the dark, the, the dark darkness before the light. For you bring your light to our world. For you bring on the evening twilight. In the name of Abba, our Creator, Jesus, our Liberator, and the Spirit who is holy. Amen. 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 The grace of our Savior, Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the friendship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And also also with you. With you. Almighty and ancient God, you are ever present and you are our light. It is through you and with you that we are many lights within your brilliant creation. Oh, I'm going to ask if we could if there's some serious reverb going on somewhere. And, um, oh, Kathy, I think it's from you. And better be oh, my dad. Kathy, hi. Oh, I hate to mute her when she has so much trouble getting on. <laughs> I think she's trying to record it. Well, I'm going to ask okay. if there's yeah. right. going on somewhere. 
Wait, is it possible for you to do that on Kathy's behalf as our I'm, I'm trying now. Yeah, I'm trying. So much trouble getting out. There we go. Thank you, Kate. So, and, um, yeah, there you go. So, again, we are so grateful to be together. Let's take another <laughs> deep breath. Woohoo! And, Sheila. Take it away. We have come together as a community to welcome your spirit and to praise you for the many and varied gifts your children hold within themselves, gifts that, as within a circle, come back to you and your church. You are This beautiful day may all be welcome in the name of the three in one. coming together as God's family. Let us confess all that prevents true harmony, the times when we have lost our way, the wounding times when we have caused division, the cold times of our love. So may we find peace with each other, peace with the world, and peace with God. Oh, oh God, 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 we have moved away, away from, from, you. from you and, and looked to ourselves. ourselves. We great spirit of compassion, you accept and welcome us as we are with our light and our shadow. Yet you also call us to fullness of life in you. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God. Oh, in the highest, and we're not going to go any further. I apologize. It's sad then. But we do pray glory to God. And join together to say, come, God of the poor. Come. Light of our hearts. Come, voice of the silence. Come, generous spirit. By the glory of the our first reading is from Isaiah. You, O oh Lord, are our Father, our Redeemer. You named are named forever. Whatever you do, what you do, let us wander, O oh Lord, from your ways, and harden not our hearts, so that we fear you not. Return for the sake of your servants, the tribes of your heritage. Oh, that you would rend the heavens and come down, with the mountains quaking before you. While you wrought awesome deeds we could not hope for, such as those they have heard from old. No ear has ever heard, no eye has ever seen any God but you doing such deeds for those who wait for him. Would that you, would that you might meet us to do right, to be mindful of our ways. Behold, you are angry and we are sinful. All of us have become unclean people. All our good deeds are like polluted rags. We have all withered with the leaves, and our guilt carries us away with the wind. There is none who calls upon your name, who rouses himself to cling to you. You have hidden your face from us, and we have delivered up us to our guilt. 
Yet, O Lord, you are our father. We are clay, and you are the potter. We are all the works of your hands. This is God's holy word. Thank you. Thank you. God. God. The psalm today is excerpts from Psalm 85. The response is a little long, so we'll, we'll see how it works out. Let us see your mercy, most high, and grant us your deliverance. Let us see your I will listen to what you have to say, Most High, a voice that speaks of peace, peace for your people and your friends. Your salvation is near for those who revere you, and your glory will dwell in our land. Let us see your mercy, most high, and grant us your deliverance. Kindness and truth shall meet, justice and peace shall kiss. Fidelity will sprout from the earth, and justice will lean down from heaven. Let us see your mercy, most high, and grant us your deliverance. The Most High will give us what is good, and our land will yield its harvest. Justice will march before you, Most High, and peace will prepare the way for your steps. Let us see you, and grant us your deliverance. And now, as, as Ginny and Anita prepare to share the reading from 1 Corinthians, I encourage us this day to hear in the greeting a letter from St. Paul, the Holy Spirit in heaven itself, to the church in Corinth, and to Joe, and to Lori. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and Lord Jesus Christ. I give thanks to my God always for you because of the grace of God that has been given to you in Christ Jesus. For in every way you have been enriched in him, in speech and knowledge of every kind, just as the testimony of Christ has been strengthened among you so that you are not lacking in any spiritual gift as you wait for the revealing of our Lord Jesus Christ. He will also strengthen you to the end so that you may be blameless on your day of our Lord Jesus Christ. God is faithful. By him you were called into the fellowship of his son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Thank you be to God. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. And also with you. The, Lord Lord be with you. the teachings of Jesus Christ as recorded by Mark. Glory to you. Jesus said to his disciples, be watchful, be alert. You do not know when the time will come. It is like a man traveling abroad. He leaves home and places his servants in charge, each with his own work, and orders the gatekeeper to be on the watch. Watch, therefore, you do not know when the Lord of the house is coming whether in the evening or at midnight, or at cockcrow or in the morning. May he not come suddenly and find you sleeping. But I say uh -huh. to you, I say to all, watch. This is the gospel of the risen Christ. Glory and praise to Jesus Christ. Well, today's been 55 years in the coming. <laughs> Yeah. It's an honor to be here and witness this love today. So briefly what we're going to do for those who've come on later, we'll renew the vows here, go through the entire ceremony, and Sister Laurel will renew her commitment and her vows, and then I will open it up to any couples who wish to renew their marriage vows. And the way we'll do that is a simple repeat after me to make it easier. 
one spouse will repeat and then the other spouse spouses will repeat you know we'll go back and forth so take a deep breath <laughs> Lori and joe come here today to renew their vows of love marriage for them was never a relationship where they lost themselves but instead where they promised a new life together of unity God is love, and it is godly love shared by humans that brings unity. Marriage is a sacred covenant between two people where they commit to live in that love and come to know each other better with mutual care and companionship over many years. God is love, and love brings joy. Through this joy as husband and wife, they have shared their lives with their families and friends, with their circle, and through all of us with the world, which is so sorely in need of love. So we're here today to support them and witness the public proclamation of the renewal of this holy union. So let us pray for a moment. Gracious God, always faithful in your love for us we rejoice in your presence here you create love you unite us in one human family you offer your word and you lead us in your light you open your loving arms and you embrace us with your strength may the presence of christ fill our hearts now with new joy and renew the lives of your servants whose years of marriage we celebrate Bless all creation through this sign of your love that is shown in the love of Joe and Lori for one another. And may the power of your Holy Spirit sustain them and all of us in love that knows no end. Amen. Amen. So before we start, I'm going to ask you a few questions, just like you were asked on the first day. Do you both come here willingly to give yourselves in marriage? Again. Uh, yep. Yes. Yes. And is it your intention to join together in marriage for life? Yes. 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 <laughs> next, next question is for the rest of you. Do you, as friends, as family members, do you pledge your love and your support to Lori and Joe as they renew this beautiful marital love? We do. Yes. Yes. yes, we do. Certainly. Say that again louder. Yes. Yes, we do. Yes, yes, yes. 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 <laughs> okay. God of our mothers and our fathers, hear these pledges, encouraging and supporting this union. Bless us as we offer our prayerful and loving support to their ongoing marriage. Bless them as they pledge their lives again to each other. With faith in you and in each other, may this couple always bear witness to the reality of love that we witness here again today. May their love continue to grow deeper and deeper, and may it be a true reflection of your love for us all through Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. <laughs> so, Joe, we'll start with you. You want to begin your vows? I... Joseph, take thee, Lori, to be my wedded wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish until death do us part, according to God's holy ordinance. And thereto I plight thee my troth, with this ring I thee wed, with my body I thee worship, and with all my worldly goods I thee endow. <clears throat> I, Lori, take thee, Joseph, to be my wedded husband, to have and to hold from this day forward for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, 
to love and to cherish until death do us part, according to God's holy ordinance. And there too I plight thee my troth. With this ring I thee wed. With my body I thee worship. With all my worldly goods I thee endow. May these rings be a sign of your sacred love. May you think of one another each time you look upon them through these years. And may the circle of these rings symbolize the unending love of God reflected in your holy union in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 I'd like to continue now by turning to Sister Laurel. Laurel, if you would please state your own vows. I, Sister Laurel M. O'Neill, renew the vows of chastity, poverty, and obedience, which I made at my eremitical profession. I promise to observe faithfully my rule of life as an expression of life as a solitary consecrated hermit, and to devote myself to the service of God and all God holds precious. In the stricter separation from anything resistant or antithetical to God's love, in the silence of solitude, and in assiduous prayer and penance. May God continue to strengthen and inspire me in this commitment. I pray all this in God's holy name. Amen. 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 And now for those couples who would like to renew their vows, I'd ask you simply to repeat after me, uh, and don't worry about the cacophony. We can do it all together. Oh, sure. Okay. <clears throat> it, the, the, Lord, the Lord will, uh, he'll hear it clearly. Okay. Sure. And we'll start with the grooms or one spouse or the other as you choose. Okay. Yes. Begin your name with your name. I. I do. Your name is Caleb. <laughs> Solemnly promise to love. Solemnly promise. promise to love. <clears throat> to trust and to honor. To trust and to honor. To cherish you each day. To cherish you each day. From this day forward. From this day forward. I invite you to share my life. I invite you to share my life. And I hope to share yours. I hope to share yours. I dedicate myself. I dedicate myself. I dedicate myself. To your happiness and fulfillment as a person. To your happiness. To your happiness and fulfillment as a person. I devote myself. Devote myself. Devote myself. To your salvation. To your salvation in Christ. For your salvation in Christ. I will do everything in my power. Do everything in my power. <coughs> to preserve and encourage our marital union. To deserve and encourage. Deserve and encourage. And encourage our marital union. Our marital union. I accept you as my loving and loyal wife. I accept you as my loyal and loving wife. And I promise to love you and no other. I promise to love you and no other. Let me go. Now the second spouse. State your name. I. I, I Sheila McCaleb. Solemnly promise to love and to trust. Solemnly promise to love and to trust. To honor and cherish you. To honor and cherish you. Each day from this day forward. Each day from this day forward. I invite you to share my life. I invite you to share my life. And I hope to share yours. And I hope to share yours. I dedicate myself. I dedicate myself. 
Your happiness and fulfillment as a person. Your happiness and fulfillment as a person. And I devote myself to your salvation in Christ. And I devote myself to your salvation in Christ. I will do everything in my power. I will do everything in my power. To preserve and encourage. Preserve and encourage. Our sacred marital union. Sacred marital union. I accept you. I accept you. I accept you. I accept you. As my loyal and loving spouse. As my loyal and loving spouse. Baby. And I, prom I promise to love you and no other. I promise to love you and no other. I invite you now, since most of you didn't plan this, kiss each other's rings. Oh. And may these rings be a sign of your sacred love and think of one another each time you look upon them. Let the circle of these rings symbolize the unending love of God reflected in your holy union in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 And I ask now that each of us here individually, married or single, take a moment of silence and consider the love with which we dedicate ourselves to God and to the church, to our families and our friends. Lord, I ask you to bless the love in our hearts. Let it reflect the love of the Trinity. Let it reflect the love that you give to us that brings us to life. Help us to share that love, to revel in it, and to return it to you. I thank you for the love that gives us creation and spurs us on to the joy of announcing the good news of the Incarnation. This not work of love that you weave here today will guide you through life as you go on your way. Should your road become difficult, just stop and say, I do take you, love, again today. These vows before God that you proclaim here shall strengthen the bond that you build through the years. We witness with joy with a family or friend and rejoice in these words, real love never ends. With your hands clasped together, God's blessing be yours. With your hearts weaved together, God's blessing be yours. And with your circle around you, God's blessing be yours. We pray that forever God's blessing be yours. And should your road become rocky, just stop and say, I do take you love again today. May you be bound with unbreakable bonds of love for one another and blessed with unbreakable bonds of commitment to this love. May all of your thoughts, words, and actions toward one another reflect only your love. In the presence of God before us here, you have renewed your solemn vows to one another and confirmed your promises by the joining of hands, the giving, the receiving, and the kissing of rings. Therefore, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, I joyfully Proclaim and celebrate that you are husband and wife, spouses for life. Amen. Exchange Amen. your holy Amen. kisses. Amen. Yay! Yay! Amen. Bingo. 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 Yes. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> wow. From here. Let's profess our faith. We believe, we believe in, 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 Christ. Christ. in one God, the Almighty, maker of the earth and the cosmos, of all that is visible and invisible, known and unimaginable. We believe, we believe in Christ. Christ. that the Lord Jesus Christ, the firstborn of God, 
is one in being with Abba, and that through Christ all things are made. Mm. We believe and we believe and trust. Okay. That for the salvation of us all, he came down from heaven, and that by the power of the Holy Spirit, he was born of the Virgin Mary and became flesh. We believe in us. Jesus was crucified for our sake, that under Pontius Pilate, he suffered, died, was buried, rising three days later as promised in the Holy Scriptures. We believe in us. That Jesus ascended into heaven and is seated at God's right hand, ready to return in glory. He will judge the living and the dead, and God's reign will have no end. We believe in, God's we believe in, Christ. in the Holy Spirit, the giver of life and inspiration of the prophet, who comes forth from the Father, with the Father and the Son, she is worshipped and glorified. We believe in Jesus Christ. One universal apostolic church, that one baptism washes away our sins and brings us to new life in Christ. We, we believe, believe in Jesus Christ. Christ. In the promised resurrection of the dead and our eternal life in the new Jerusalem. Amen. 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 As we are open to the light of the Spirit, let us call on our hearts closed, that we may offer prayers for blessings needed and give thanks for blessings received. And this day, we thank you special thanks to God for the sacramentality of all creation, that God is so present to us, that Lori and Joe, through their faithfulness to one another and to you, Lord, are such a blessing to the world. We ask that blessing be continued and that their, all the bread they cast upon the waters return to them in abundance. And we pray. Jesus, Jesus you are our prayer. prayer. Uh, I would just like that this was a reminder of um, uh, my wedding day, as uh, as uh, I'm sure uh, Lori uh, and Joe re remember their wedding day from um, 55 years ago. Ginger and I are coming up on our seventh anniversary, and I would just like to uh, uh, thank um, Father Mike and uh, Maura. Thank you so much for marrying us, you guys. We I, every Sunday, I look at our photos. Uh, they're right here in the main room, and uh, we just had such a great time. So this reminds me of the wonderful time. And thank you, Melissa, for helping out with the wedding so much. Um, and, of course, Kate. Uh, and uh, that was just a wonderful celebration. So uh, this was a reminder of the joy from that day. Thank, thank you uh, for everybody that participated. We pray. Jesus. Jesus, hear our prayer was a wonderful day. It was a wonderful day. <laughs> Happy to be, to have been part of it. I'm looking it was at, an I'm honor. I'm looking at sunglasses was, right now. <laughs> it was very beautiful, guys. But it was fun, and I mean, I think it, it, was, it was solemn, it was spiritual in parts, but there was like a joy. There was a little bit of laughter, a few little touches in the wedding um, where, you know, there were lighter touches than you normally see. But that was, it was just a very joyful day. And um, it was wonderful. Well, it was well you, you married us then. Now, now Kate sort of semi-remarried us, I guess. <laughs> and I will tell you that this, the, that the sacrament of marriage, as well as the sacrament of holy orders, came as a very joyous surprise to me as an older woman. And I lift up to you today, Lord, all those who are yearning in their hearts to express a vocation as yet unfulfilled. We ask you to have mercy and to, to smooth the path so that each of us can live most fully the life you call us to. We pray. Jesus, Jesus hear our prayer. Prayer. I wish joy and blessings to all people today, especially those who have renewed their vows. It's a really beautiful thing. 
We pray. We pray. Jesus, hear our prayers. Ginger and I also know um, several people that, uh, uh, you know, that are seeking, seeking someone as a partner. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's a really tough world out there, especially during coronavirus. So, Lord, um, please send them comfort. This, this is a wonderful reminder of our marriages, my marriage to Ginger. But uh, we personally know several people that... Um, suffer on a daily basis, wondering uh, if there's somebody out there for them, wondering if they're able to be in a relationship again, or a myriad of other reasons. Uh, Lord, please give them comfort um, and, uh, and, and solace. And I especially lift up my brother, uh, my brother for this, uh, we pray. Jesus, Jesus hear our prayer. prayer. I'd like to repeat something that Kate said just before, that I do take your love today and want to direct it to God and also pray for all those intentions that we've been asked for as clergy and parishioners yes. and also pray for our military and veterans, especially those who are deployed. We pray. Jesus, Jesus hear, hear, us. hear us. Hear our prayer. And the service dogs. Amen. Service. Yes, Jesus, hear our prayer. Jesus, hear our prayer. Hear our prayer. <laughs> Lord, I thank you for the, the example of marriage that we may have been given by various people in our lives, parents, grandparents, relatives, friends, the example of love that we have seen that's touched our lives in a positive way. I thank you for those couples, those families. I ask you to continue blessing them. And for those who had trouble in their relationships and their marriages, I ask you, Lord, to bless them with peace and for those in both groups who have gone on to the next world. I ask you to renew in their hearts the love they first knew so that they can give glory to God for eternity in love. I ask it through Christ Jesus. Hear our prayer. Jesus. 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 Thank you, Lord, for the gifts of faithful commitment. And we know that these gifts are definitely from you. We thank you for Sister Laurel's commitment to the vocation she chose. We thank you for our Bishop Kate. We thank you for the priests and the deacons who are with us today. And we give special thanks for the lay people who show up every week and make it happen here and throughout your church. We thank you. For your holy people, thank you, Lord. Give us patience with one another and help us to recognize you in all people so that all people will know that you love them. And this we pray. Jesus, Jesus hear our prayer. Jesus. At this time, I invite everyone to, if you feel comfortable, just share the name of someone whose health you might be concerned about so that we can offer them up lovingly to God for healing grace. I lift up Luke. I lift up Melody. I lift up Lynn, my sister. I lift up Chris. Laurie Shanzer. I lift up Jill and Stephanie and anybody else who has come to yes. us for prayer. Monette and Debbie. Maura. Forgot. Alan. Nancy. Dorothy. And for all those who are struggling with illness, all those who are dying today, we entrust them to your care because we know that you created our bodies to be good. Despite the fact they seem to catch all kinds of things, despite the suffering in our physical bodies, despite death, we say thank you. And we ask that the grace of your powerful healing love be present in all those who struggle this day. 
We also thank you for the gift of Prince of Peace Parish, and we ask your blessing on this little community as we celebrate our 16th anniversary, and on the spirits of those who've gone before with a special prayer for our dear founder, Father Michael. And again, I invite you, if you would like to call out the name of a special person to remember today, we call Michael. Michael. Joe, Joe Grenier. Joe. 55-year-old yeah. newlyweds. 55-year-old <laughs> newlyweds. Of course, yeah. we'll yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> That's yep. the age of the wedding, not the newlyweds. <laughs> <laughs> and Russell then, and Victor. Yes, mm -hmm. Russell and Victor. Alicia and Sharon. Oh, yeah, Sharon, Alicia. Reverend Sharon Henderson. And, Sharon. and Scott. And Scott. Nathan. Nathan. Joan, Charlie, Veronica. And all your faithful departed, and all those who have left this life without necessarily knowing what was about to happen, may they be surprised by your joyful, warm welcome, we pray. Jesus. Jesus. For our nation, for our world. As Christmas approaches, and we approach this season of Advent with a sense of joy, a sense of anticipation, hope, and love. Give us all the wisdom to help make your reign real on earth. We pray. Jesus. Jesus. Let's take just a moment to offer all the prayers that we forgot to pray together as a group. We can offer up our hearts and our friends and loved ones. We praise <laughs> and we thank you for the abundance of your grace, looking to the gathering together of us all in the fullness of the love of Christ. Amen. 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 Jesus told us that before we offer our gifts at the altar, we should make peace with our families. With Christ as the author of all peace, let us offer a sign of Christ's peace to each other. And a special prayer and blessing of peace to those who are joining us on Twitch and YouTube. Be blessed, friends. We're so glad you're with us. Yep. I invite those who are with us, if you as you feel comfortable, to bring bread and wine to the table. If you would like a moment to do that, we'll wait for you as we set our own table. Yeah. I think some of the water and wine may be come to show you there that most of all that we choose to show that our humanity. As we, as we wait for Anita, uh, I would just like to ask clergy for a special favor that after Eucharist, let's take a little time of quiet. We don't need to, as Kate says, do the dishes right away. So mm -hmm. on this special day, let's give ourselves that little break. Ginny, are we waiting for Anita? You and I yes. Think? Oh, okay, good. So we will take a moment of quiet.
here she is. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ who humbly chose to share in our humanity. With we heart, thanks, heart, 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 heart. We offer thanks, 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 thanks to you for the thanks and praise to you, love and God, to come in and to us, and we come close to you, and we come close to you. And we come close to you. Barukata Adonai Elohim, Melech Ha'olam, Hamotzeh Lechem Min Ha'aretz, Morei Pri Hagafen. Blessed are you, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have the harvest of the fields and the fruit of the vine to offer, which the earth has given and human hands have made. They will become for us our spiritual food and drink. Blessed are you, you are glorified in the world. Living God, giver of all, you enter the empty places of our hearts and bring your light into our darkness. You take the broken pieces of our lives and restore us to a new creation. You bring order to With the holy angels of light and the whole company of heaven, those who have gone before us and those who shall come after us, with brothers and sisters east and west, and with our loved ones separate from us now, yet who in this mystery are close to us, we join in the realization of your unending greatness. Holy, 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 God, power, God, 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 heaven, and earth, and your glory, Hosanna, and the Holy Blessed are they in your name, in the name of the Most High, Hosanna, and the Holy Spirit, Hosanna, and the Holy Spirit. Abba God, you are holy indeed, the fountain of all holiness. Let your spirit come upon these gifts to make them holy so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Before Christ was given up to death, death he freely accepted. He took bread and gave you thanks. He broke the bread gave it to his disciples and said, take this, all of you and eat it. This is my body, which is broken and now given up for you. When supper was ended, he took the cup again. He gave you thanks and praise, gave the cup to his disciples and said, take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant that is shed for you and for all, so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ As we celebrate these holy mysteries, may we and all for whom we pray be open to the glory of your presence, the beauty of your song, and the healing power of your love. For without you, we are as nothing, and without you, our lives are empty. 
Abba, remember those who take part in this offering. Remember Joseph, our late founding bishop, Kate and Catherine, our bishops, and bishops and clergy and those in formation everywhere. Remember our friends and loved ones who have passed through the veil. In baptism, they died with Christ. May they also share in Christ's resurrection. And on this, our parishes, our anniversary, we give special thanks for our dear founder and our beloved friend, Mike. We have prayed for the gift of yourself through this bread, which we break in your name. We have prayed for the gift of yourself through this cup, which is set before us. May this sacrament be for us, the bread of heaven, the cup of salvation. Through Christ, with Christ, in Christ, in the in unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, mighty and glory, forever and ever. Amen. Jesus taught us to call God our Abba, our loving parent, with confidence. Let us pray to God in the way Jesus taught us, as recorded by Matthew and Luke. Our Abba in heaven, holy is your name. May your name reign among us. May your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us our daily bread of bread and bread. And forgive us our shortcomings. As we also forgive us our shortcomings. Don't let us be tempted to the test. We are free us from evil. Free us, O God, from every evil. And grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin and protect us from all anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the reign of power and the glory of the Lord. Amen. 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 Holy God, Holy and strong, 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 you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God. Grant us your peace. Grant us your peace. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. Lord Jesus Christ, for faith in your mercy, may you be found in your Let it not bring us from the but the Holy The life of Christ is offered for the life of the world. Here is Christ coming to us in bread and wine. This is the gift of God. For the people of God. Jesus, Jesus you make us worthy to welcome and receive you. Give us the gifts that make us whole. Amen. Amen. For our friends here on Zoom who may not have any questions, for Amen. those on Twitch and YouTube, Know that you are in our thoughts and prayers, Dorothy, Amen. Louise, and all who are joining us. Be blessed in the name of Abba, the Creator, Jesus, our Liberator, and the Spirit who is holy. Amen. Amen. And again, be blessed by the blood of Christ who loves you. Amen.
Lord, may we receive these gifts in purity of heart. May they bring us healing and strength, and strength. And strength. And strength. And strength. And forever. And forever. In thankfulness, let us offer praise. The we gifts the of the gifts of the gifts of the love of God. So may we in all creation give of ourselves that life may be complete and we may enter the fellowship which is both human and divine, temporal and eternal. May we go forth in the strength of the Spirit, 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 Spirit,